I got four coins to put into Dance Go's 7070 album. Three new ones and an upgrade. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. It's been a while since I did a Dance Go 7070 album update there, Winning. Yeah, but with gold and silver hard to find, it's the perfect chance to buy new mismatic stuff. Which I've gotten a little bit back into during this time. I got four editions, three that are new and one as an upgrade. And I got me a 1913 Philadelphia Type 1 raised mound buffalo nickel. Now, they minted 30,992,000 of these, but, you know, got to have one. And it actually completes my nickels once I put this in the album. The next one is I have a seated Liberty Quarter, an 1854 Philly. You know, not in the best of shape, but. Mm -hmm. With the arrow. With the arrows. I think they only made them with arrows, didn't they? Uh, yeah. I think so that year. And there's the reverse. Not bad. No, you know, it'll do the trick. And this, the half dollar, is an upgrade. And it's the 1863 San Francisco. Had a mintage of 916,000. And we're replacing this one. It's an 1858-O that is in the album that has a mintage of 7,294,000 and... It's in worse condition than this. So the condition's better. This does have a little bit of rim damage up there around the two o'clock area. But still, better specimen than what I have in the book. So might as well put it in there. And now, the one we're really excited about. <laughs> my first trade dollar. And this is in 1877 San Francisco. No chop marks. And they were notorious for doing that back in the day. And my LCS guy did say it has an old cleaning on it. I got it at a really good price. I'm not going to mention that. It's got some great detail on it, though. Well, he wasn't sure if it had an old cleaning or not. But he kind of suspected. It does. Yeah, and I suspect that this coin's been cleaned, too. But the fields are still nice. Not a lot of scratching. Might have been dipped. I'm not sure. But my first trade dollar so i'm really happy about this one all right we'll be back with them in the book all right they're in the book Let's start off with the first page we didn't have any we had to put in here but we thought you'd show where it currently stands at and there are a lot of holes in this one this is one of the pages i need to definitely do some damage on the next page we have our first edition and that would be the very end one, as winning like to say, almost every single one of these we had. To, but there's the type one, 1913. And oops, let's show the dimes off real quick. I really like that Merc. The Merc's a blazer. Mm -hmm. And of course we put a silver, a silver dime in there. We just like to, and it says clad, but eh, we put a silver one in. Find clads all over the place. And another page where we had the quarter of this one was the second end winning. Yeah, the only one that was not on the end. But we're doing some damage on the quarters. Really doing some pretty good damage. All right. And did I skip a page? Oh, I skipped one. That's right. This was the upgrade. The uh, We took out an 1858-0 oh, and put in the... What, what was this one again? It was an... 1863 S. 1863 S. And even though it had some rim damage, it had seven times less the mintage than the other one. And the other one was in rough shape. Oh, let me show you that one. I got that one out here. Here's that 1858 O. Yeah, this thing's slicked over a little bit. So I guess I'll just throw this somewhere for the time being. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now I can turn the page. And there's our, we really like the half dollar sets that we have in there. 
Mm -hmm. There's some blazers in there. They're commemoratives. And nice toner silver, 1965. 40 percenter that we put in there because we just like the toning off that one even though it says cloud and he's like nah silver you know and then there she is the 1877 san francisco trade dollar i never did get to the mintage on that and it was a high mintage but yeah well how many is it winning uh, 9519000 So probably one of the reasons why this one became available without any chop marks. But these can still be salty. It was a nice one to definitely put inside the book as at least a starter. You know, I love collecting Morgans. I love collecting Peace Dollars. And as you can see, I've and got... And you love collecting Eisenhower's now. <laughs> yeah, that too. I, you know, all these... All these are silver. I mean, the Ike silver, of course, these are silver. But the Ike is a 40 percenter. I don't know if it called for it or not. I just try to throw silver in there when I can. But look at that Peace Dollar Morgan. Those things are shiny. And then the last page is totally done. And those are all silver up there, the Bicentennials, even though they called for... They don't necessarily call for anything, but I decided to throw in silver ones, and there's the last page. So really, I'm starting to do some damage to this book, Winnie. Mm-hmm. Got to work on that first page. So, and some of these are starting to be the harder ones, you know, the back years. And that's what getting the trade dollar and a couple seated did for us. We got some of them harder ones to get and slowly getting this book filled. Well, the LCS has the list. I updated it and sent it to him since we were there. This is true. He keeps a list of that kind of older stuff we need. Well, everyone, that's going to bring this one to a close. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.